Hey folks, good morning. Welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. So today we're doing a video on scent control. This video that I'm shooting this morning is now obviously a week after I actually did most of the other shoot. Uh, I did the shooting of this particular video set over a period of a few days. Um, it's because one, I wanted to give no scent a fair trial and the other thing is as well is that uh, to do it properly it just needed time and i need to fit it around my work schedule as well um you know with the lockdowns that are now lifting and what have you we're becoming a little bit more busy in terms of getting ourselves ready for people that want to come and hunt and that sort of thing so scent control is incredibly important to me um, as I think you will know that I've said many times that I've often been a skeptic of scent control and uh, no scent approached me, uh, said to me would I like to try their product and would I like to be on their pro staff team and I said wow that's wonderful I'd love to try it and sure if it works I'll, I'll be happy to represent you. So to give them a fair trial I wanted to make sure that I did everything right. So I went as far as washing even my underwear with the no send laundry pods, but you're gonna see all of that soon. Um, this video doesn't actually cover the hunt that I where I use no scent. It'll be the next one, which will be in a few days time. I'm a little bit behind schedule on my videos, but uh, it's just work. So we, we, we will get there. But um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to ensure that there was no smells in the washing machine. So I thoroughly washed the washing machine out with a no degreaser, but you're going to see that all through this video. Um, and then there's other considerations one has to take when covering up your scent when hunting. A lot of guys go to the effort of um, putting scent blocker on or scent deterrent or, or, or a product like no scent onto themselves and then what they do is they walk into the bush and the first thing is they go and take a pee and then what happens when they pee is that urine splashes on their feet and uh, that is like the strong the most strongest possible smell one can get when walking around the bushes is human urine so if you don't have a bottle or you don't have facilities in which to go um, then I suggest that you spray yourselves up with no scent but I just wanted to run you through my process. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna bring you the hunt in a few days and it's a little something out of the ordinary and I hope you guys enjoy it. It was a successful hunt, so stay tuned. So I'm here at uh, my washing machine. Obviously I'm on a farm, so I don't know if you can see our washing machine pretty much stands outside. We don't worry about too much else. The washing machine is fairly clean, but you will see there is a little bit of residue and what have you in here. So what I want to do before I chuck my camo hunting clothes into the wash is I want to make sure that all the old smells are gone. So fabric softeners are oil based. So what I've done is uh, I have a wildlife translocation business and one of the things I use for cleaning my trucks is a degreaser. Now you can buy degreasers that are um, unfragranced or scent free. And this is what I have here, is engine degreaser from Westpac that is unsensed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna chuck some of this into the washing machine and I'm just gonna let it run a cycle basically just with the degreaser in it and just rinse out all the all the possible residue that might be there. And then a bit later today, I'm gonna to come back and I'm gonna chuck my camos in there with a no scent laundry pod. Okay, so we're back here an hour later. I've got with me no scent laundry pods. So we're good to rock and roll. Oops, just drop that one in there. Drop the whole packet in there, not good. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to be dropping the camo in there. So we've got the leafy suit. We've got a face mask. We've got another face mask. We've got another face mask. We have a pair of gloves, which are also going in there. And uh, 
we also have the leafy jacket there and uh, then I've just chucked a couple of other things in there as well so that's what we've got going in there just forgive me I'm going to so I've just opened the laundry the no scent laundry pot and uh, So there's a no scent laundry pod. We're going to bomb that in there. And we are going to put this on just a regular wash. And she is now good to go, filling up with water. Hello folks. So it is the next day because obviously I got to wash these clothes with a no scent laundry pot a little bit late yesterday. So I'm getting around to the other half of it today. Um, as I'm not going to hunt today, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got uh, the no scent uh, field spray and uh, just a, a plastic garbage bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of uh, squirts into the bag and then I'm going to pack my hunting clothes in there and close it up that it stays uncontaminated. Hello folks, Monday afternoon, quarter to four. I'm about to climb into a tree stand outside. It's very windy here. We're expecting a cold front in a few days. So the wind is belting at the moment. So the wind is all over the place. So I'm no scenting up today. Of course, I've been made pro staff last week, so I've got to try the stuff out. So uh, it's off to the shower with no scent um, hair and body wash, although I don't have much hair, uh, we'll give it a go. And then I'm going to go and climb into a tree stand until dark. So if this was successful, then you will see the rest of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're through the shower now um, with the no scent body and hair wash. And uh, the, I took my clothes out the bag that I washed yesterday in the, in the plastic bag. Put on a bit of field spray scent and now we are going out to the field. So wish us luck. Here we go.